Revealed. Faces of Key Lady Men. 3D reconstruction by UK Lab and researchers brings 2,500-year-old skulls from Tamil Nadu into shape. Archaeological excavations and carbon dating point to one of the oldest civilizations thriving at Kiladi, 12 kilometers southeast of Madurai in Tamil Nadu, in 6th century BCE. Now, they've put faces to at least two men who walked this earth some 2,500 years ago. South Indian with traces of ancestral West Eurasian, Iranian, hunter-gatherers and ancestral Austroasiatic people. Fatisho researchers at Madurai Kamaraj University describe the facial features reconstructed on two skulls with help from Liverpool John Moores University in the UK. The skulls were found at Kondagai, a burial site around 800 m from the main excavation site. Further DNA studies are needed top and point the ancestry based on genetics, they say. We used a computer-assisted 3D facial reconstruction system to rebuild the facial musculature and estimate facial features following anatomical and anthropometrical standards, said Professor Caroline Wilkinson, director of Face Lab, Liverpool John Moores University, UK. The lower halves of the faces were more reconstruction of the upper halves was more accurate. As the lower jaws of the skulls were missing, we used orthodontic standards to estimate the shapes of the mandibles from cranial measurements and planes, said Professor Wilkinson. Researchers used forensic guidelines for facial reconstruction created from the study of clinical images of living people. After obtaining CT scanned images of the skulls from Kondagai, they estimated the tissue depth at various points of the skulls following published data of modern South Indians. It is 80% science and 20% art they used digital sculpting to recreate muscle, fat and skin while the placement and size of facial features, eyes, nose and mouth, were estimated based on the skull's characteristics and anatomical relationships. Using a photographic database, researchers assigned colors and textures for the skin, hair and eyes. It is 80% science and 20% art, said Professor G. Kumarazan, Department of Genetics, Madurai Kamaraj University, which scanned and sent images of the skulls to Liverpool. He said the reconstructed faces, along with DNA data, will help trace the ancestry of Tamils who lived in the Sangam age. Key Lady has been at the center of a tussle between the Union and State Goths over its antiquity. Last month, the Archaeological Survey of India asked its archaeologist K. Amarnath Ramakrishna, who unearthed the Sangam Age brick structure at Kiladi in 2015-16 and dated the site to 8th century BCE, to revise his report quoting unnamed experts who said it could be no older than the 3rd century BCE. The Tamil Nadu State Archaeology Department and researchers from Madurai Kamaraj University are analyzing DNA from the Kondagai urns in collaboration with the Department of Genetics at Harvard University in the U.S. Work is in progress to obtain a large number of DNA markers and compare them with global reference populations to understand the roots of migration and admixture of the ancient inhabitants of Kondagai and Kiladi, Kumarazan said. After studying the contents of the burial urns excavated from Kondagai, researchers estimated that most of the skeletal remains were of people aged around 50 years. There are many criteria such as dental wear patterns, expression of sutural lines, presence of arthritic lesions and general size of the bone that can tell us about age, said anthropologist Veena Mushrif Tripathi from Deccan College in Pune. She studied the bone remains at Kondagai and Kodamanal. The stature estimation is feasible for only 11 skeleton remains at Kondagai. Though it is insufficient to measure the height of the entire Kondagai population, the average height of males was 170.82 cm, 5 feet 7, while females was 157.74 cm, 5 feet 2, which is comparable to Kodamanal where stature estimation was conducted on five skeletal remains, she added. Researchers identify the sex of the skeleton remains based on pelvic bone and skull morphology. Though reconstructing faces is common throughout the world, in South India, we have attempted it for the first time at Kiladi, said archaeologist K. Rajan, advisor to the Tamil Nadu Department of Archaeology. Thank you for watching this video. If you find the video useful PLS give a like and subscribe to our channel for future videos.